Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. Per the usual, we are walking to the gym. It is upper body day today. I kind of revamped my workout schedule. If you remember, if you watch a lot of my What I Eat in a Days, I actually used to drive to the gym on Monday and then I would do lower body, drive home, but I changed things up a little bit and Monday is now an upper body day for me. So I get to walk to the gym, which I like much better. We know this, we know I like to walk versus being on the elliptical. So I am walking to the gym, doing upper body, walking home. I have a really, really busy day today. I have macros, lots of macros to do for people. I have some new foods that we're gonna test out for the first time today. We just have a really, really good day. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories. Cannot recommend these enough. Please, please get your macros done. It is the best way to stay on track, lose weight, see success. So that is down in the description box with one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over join my Facebook group we'd love to have you so here we go let's walk to the gym get our workout in for the day so we can go home and have some breakfast because I have a new breakfast food to share Good morning. I am home from the gym. I am ready for the day. Really quickly, before we have breakfast, I wanted to show you what Troy got me. He came home the other day from Fry's, which is a Kroger store with a few grocery things that he needed, and he brought me roses. $7 for a dozen roses. They smell so good, they're so beautiful, so I've really been enjoying those on my kitchen counter. I did share them on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here for you. I post on there every day, tons of stories, tons of posts, lots of reels, and I did post that Troy had brought me those flowers. So follow me on Instagram if you don't, but I'm hungry. I have been sipping on my 6 a.m. run. That is my post-workout supplement. It's BCAAs, which are branch chain amino acids. They help with recovery and soreness and physical recovery after a workout. I love them. I am almost done with the watermelon and I bought the lemon lime, so I'm excited for that. But I need some food now and we are going to try out this brand new find. In my Costco haul, which was posted this last Saturday. I'll link that grocery haul down below for you. I picked these up because so many people have posted in my Facebook group how amazing these are. These are from the brand Lahi, and these are the morning protein bites. So it's all natural chicken sausage, cage-free eggs, sweet potato, yellow squash, kale, and caramelized onion. You can have four of them for 130 calories, which has 10 grams of protein. I haven't even opened them yet. In my grocery haul, I said I would save them to share with you guys. Ooh, these are good size. So here's the size of them and you get four of them for the serving. They smell really good. Gluten-free, cage-free eggs, no antibiotics. So I'm gonna pop four of those in my air fryer and then I have a little bit of raspberries that I need to eat up. So we'll weigh those out, figure out how much that is. But let's test these little morning bites out. My little air fryer is from Amazon. I just love this little air fryer. It's perfect for one or two people. So I'm go I'll link it down below for you. It's from the brand Copper Chef. So I'm going to pop in four of the morning protein bites. I cook everything on 400, it's just easier. I'm gonna set this for 20 minutes and I'll just keep my eye on it, watch it, shake it, and I'll put together my raspberries and we'll try these out, see if they're any good. They were pretty affordable and like I said, I've heard really good things from you guys about them. So here is my breakfast. I have to say this looks pretty amazing. We are going to do a first impression taste test on these little protein bites. They smell like savory chicken sausage. Actually kind of gives me Thanksgiving vibes. The smell of these probably because they're more harvesty, but they smell incredible. And then I have 85 grams of fresh 
raspberries. Alrighty, let's give these a taste test. Like I said, they smell really, really delicious. Definitely Thanksgiving. It reminds me of the smell in your home when you're cooking all the Thanksgiving foods, like the turkey and the stuffing. It's making me pretty excited for Thanksgiving, but let's give it a taste test. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. You know what it tastes like? Wow. It tastes like stuffing. If your family makes stuffing that has like sausage or chicken in it, that's literally what it tastes like. Thanksgiving stuffing with chicken. I can taste the squash, all the savory spices. These are incredibly good. Wow, I'm surprised honestly how delicious these are. I will go ahead and put points, calories, all the information here on the screen for you. Let me finish my breakfast and then I thought that we could sit down, have a little bit of a chat, a little bit of heart to heart. There's been some things kind of weighing on my heart that I wanna share with you guys, plus some pretty exciting news that I wavered on whether or not I wanted to share it or not until it actually happened. But you guys are my friends and I wanna be honest and transparent so I'm gonna share it with you before it even happens. So let me eat and then we'll chat. So I have you guys propped up in my office. I actually have a coaching call in 20 minutes, but I wanted to chat with you guys about real life and some things that have been on my heart as far as my weight loss and my body and my weight loss transformation. Now, right off the bat, I want to say that all of these things I'm going to share with you, I wouldn't change any of them. I would never choose to weigh 123 pounds more than I do right now if it meant that I didn't have these things or that these things didn't play a part in my daily life. I would gladly, gladly, gladly take all of this and more rather than being 123 pounds heavier because I was miserable. My knees hurt, my back hurt. I mean, I've talked about this in videos. I missed out on a lot in life when I was really overweight because I was embarrassed to go out in public or I didn't think I would fit or that it would be something that was comfortable or I'd be able to do. So I feel like I missed out on so much and I wouldn't trade these couple of things to go back to that ever. No matter what, I would never trade these things. But today and a lot of days, honestly, with 123 pounds of weight loss, you're going to have loose skin. Your body's going to change in some really positive ways, but your body's also going to change in some not so positive ways, I guess, depending on how you look at it or things are going to happen in your body as you lose weight and as you age that you don't love. And for me, and I get this question a lot, is loose skin. Now, yes, I have loose skin. Do I have a substantial amount of loose skin? No, I don't. I'm very fortunate that my arms have toned up really well. I mean, I have, like I always say, like a little bit of loose skin down here. Also could be a little bit of fat because I do have a little bit of weight that I wanna lose still. But I mean, I do have a little bit of loose skin on my arms. I have a tiny bit of loose skin on my stomach. That is not where I carried the majority of my weight. I carried a lot of my weight in my back. So I still have fat on my back that I'm trying to get rid of that will come off as I lose the last bit of weight that I wanna lose. But where I really have the loose skin is my inner thighs. And to be honest, it bothers me every day. It bothers me when I see it. It bothers me when I get dressed for the day and I'm trying to determine what to wear and I'm so excited to be able to wear dresses and skirts and shorts and then my loose skin is just staring me in the face. Now, yeah, it bothers me every day. I think about it every day, but some days are better than others. And today, today is a struggle day. Today I'm struggling with my loose skin. I will pop up some pictures here for you of my outfit today. You obviously can see my shirt. I'm wearing some black denim shorts, which by the way, I'm really proud of the shorts I have on are a size eight. I mean, I never thought I would be a size eight when I was a three X when I started my weight loss journey, but my loose skin is just there and it's prominent in these shorts. And I put the shorts on this morning and almost took them back off again because of the loose skin on my inner thighs. And as I'm continuing to lose weight, even though I'm working out and even though even though I'm gaining muscle, which is filling in my legs, my arms, my back, my chest, it's filling that in with lean muscle, the loose skin is getting worse and worse as I continue to lose weight. It's just wrinkly and flabby and it just kind of hangs there. And like I said, it's something I think about every day, but today I just, I struggled with the loose skin and I just decided I'm not gonna take the shorts off. I'm just gonna wear the shorts because I like the shorts, they're comfortable, I think the outfit is cute, and I'm just going to have to embrace the loose skin on my inner thighs. But I will tell you that it's a struggle. It's something that I immensely dislike. I would say there are three parts of my body that I struggle with. One of them is the fat on my back, 
The second one is the loose skin on my thighs, and the third one is my boobs, and we'll talk about that next. But my loose skin on my thighs is something that Luckily, I can cover up in a lot of clothing, but not in a lot of clothing. You know, bathing suits and skirts and shorts, depending on how long or short they are, you can see my loose skin. And my loose skin goes just a few inches above my knee. So even a longer short or longer skirt or longer dress, you can still see the loose skin. So today is one of those days. And I want to be honest, and I want to tell you that it's not all sunshines and sunshine and rainbows. There are days where I struggle. Like I struggle with my body image. I struggle with the loose skin. I struggle with feeling fat a lot. I mean, it's not, it doesn't just go away when you lose weight. And the mental part of losing weight is so much bigger even than the physical part. And I feel like I have the mental part under control most of the time. I really truly do. Like I don't look at myself in the mirror and think I weigh 300 pounds anymore. Like I know my body's changed and I'm proud of how lean and trim I am. But the loose skin on my thighs is just something that weighs on me. And have I thought about having a thigh lift? Absolutely. Is it something that I'm going to do? 99% probably not. It's just not something that I feel is would be beneficial to go through the surgery, pay for the surgery, have a scar that goes from my knee to, knee to my groin, which my friend Victoria had a thigh lift after losing a lot of weight and I saw her scar and I think I'd rather have the loose skin. Now, would I change my mind down the road? Potentially, because have I changed my mind about certain procedures or things about my body as I've lost weight? Yes. And that leads me into the next thing, and that is my boobs. So TMI, we're talking about boobs. If you can't talk about boobs, skip forward. But like my thighs, they have lost all meaning in life. They are not what they used to be. I was fairly large chested. I've been fairly large chested, and now my boobs, they just hang there. There is nothing to them. They are literal bags of skin. And there have been so many times that I have gotten ready for the day and literally almost cried because I just can't make them look decent. I mean, they even look saggy in the shirt that I have on with a bra. I can't find a bra that works good for me. It also doesn't accentuate my back fat because that's another area that I struggle with. So I focus on bras that help with my back fat, but maybe don't have the most support. And it's just a never ending battle. And I feel like unlike my thighs, my boobs are something that literally bothers me every single day. I feel like they make me look bigger than I am. I feel like there's no way to make them look normal, to make them perky, to make them back to where they were. And I know as we age, things move south. My mother-in-law tells me that all the time, but I'm only 46 and I still have a lot of life ahead of me. And my boob area is just something that is really, really hard on me. There are days that I literally want to cry when I put clothing on. Like when I went out with my girlfriends last Saturday and I wore this cute little halter top, I put on like 10 bras trying to figure out which one to wear or not wear because my boobs looked horrible in the shirt. And I spent 20 minutes almost crying in my closet trying to get a shirt or a bra that looked halfway decent. So in the beginning, I said, you know, I'm not going to have any plastic surgery. I'm just going to embrace my body the way that it is. But next week, I actually have a consultation in Tucson with a plastic surgeon to discuss implants or a lift or both. My next door neighbor, my friend Ashlyn next door had implants, which I never knew till we went out the other night because it doesn't look like she has them. They fit her body really well. And she gave me the recommendation for this plastic surgeon. And I'm not looking to have huge boobs, okay? Like I'm looking to have boobs that fit my body, that are where they need to be, and that bring back a little bit of my self-confidence. And honestly, I told my husband, who wasn't the biggest fan of this whole wanting to have plastic surgery, I told him that I have worked my you know what off to get here and if this is the one thing that I can fix without a lot of negative side effects like a lot of scarring or visual scars or scars that the average person would see, I can embrace the skin on my thighs if I can just fix one part of my body that really bothers me even more than the skin on my thighs. So. That's an update, so I'll keep you guys updated in future videos, let you know what I decide. If I decide to move forward, what I qualify for, I'll definitely keep you guys posted, but I wanted to be honest and transparent with the struggles because like I said, there's not unicorns dancing around in my life just because I lost 123 pounds. I still have daily struggles, both physically and mentally. If me sharing all of this helps anybody, then that's exactly why I share what I share on my channel. 
Can you guys see Palmer out there? He goes and lays in the sun every morning for about 10 minutes when he gets up. He's so happy out there. He couldn't be happier out there. Look at him bathing in the sun. I don't know why he's laying in the rocks. And tell him, say, I lay right here by the slider so I can be nice and cool in the air conditioning on the tile but still see everything happening outside. Do you need something? Since I finished my breakfast, would you like a treat? Oh, <gasps> would you like a treat? Oh, yeah. Palmer's not coming in for one. Oh, come on, buddy. Do you want your treats? Come on. <gasps> treats. You want your treat? Oh, you heard that. Here you go, bud. You can go back and lay in the sun again. It is lunchtime. I am so incredibly hungry. So what we're doing for lunch today is we are making it simple. I, if you watch my meal prep on Monday, I made these buffalo chicken burgers. Let me just tell you how delicious these are. They are so moist and juicy, and they have amazing, amazing, amazing flavor and packed with protein. I'm going to go ahead and warm one of those up. I do add a little bit of extra mild buffalo sauce to it. I also have some leftover broccoli from dinner last night. So I'm going to have that for a veggie. And then, and then I have a new food find for you for a crunchy snack with lunch. I'm really excited about it. I haven't even opened it yet and it's been in my cupboard for a few days and I've wanted to open it, but I haven't. I actually got it in my last Imperfect Foods order. Dun, dun, dun. And that is the Lesser Evil Popcorn. You know I love the Lesser Evil brand. It has nice clean ingredients. But do we see that this is pumpkin spice? This is pumpkin spice popcorn. You can have two full cups for 110 calories. There is two grams of protein in it, not a huge source of protein, more of a crunchy snack alongside a huge source of protein. But it has coconut oil, pink Himalayan sea salt, again, nice clean ingredients, and I love pumpkin spice anything. There will be a lot of pumpkin on this channel, so stay tuned for that, but I'm going to Instead of measuring it out by cups, I'm going to measure out 28 grams, which is a serving, and I'm going to have that alongside my burger. So there's 28 grams. Well, 29 grams, but close enough. Look at how good this looks. It has little pumpkin spice pieces. You can see the cinnamon. Super excited. So let me warm up my burger and my broccoli, and we'll taste test our pumpkin spice lesser evil popcorn. So here's my lunch for today. It looks amazing. So I have one of my buffalo chicken burgers. I just drizzled the tiniest bit of mild buffalo sauce on top. Lots of broccoli with some fresh ground salt and pepper. And then of course my lesser evil popcorn. I'm going to eat my lunch and I'll be back and we'll taste test that popcorn. Alrighty, taste test, smell test. Oh, it smells so good. So there's some orange colored popcorn and then you can see on the white popcorn, that there is like cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. There's some type of seasoning on it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So we're gonna test it by having an orange and a white to get the full, full flavor. Oh wow, that's really good. So the orange kernels are coated with something sweet, I'm assuming pumpkin, and the white kernels are dusted with the pumpkin pie spice. So you have that sweet, spicy, it literally tastes like pumpkin pie. It literally tastes like, tastes like pumpkin spice. And this is so good, and this is a good amount of popcorn for 110 calories. Again, I ordered this off of Imperfect Foods. I'll link Imperfect Foods down below for you with money off your first order, and I'm assuming you can find these in some stores as well. I'll definitely be on the hunt, and I will definitely add this to my Imperfect Foods order again. We are in the car because I need a coffee. It is about 12.40, I ate lunch, and now I'm heading to get my nails done. I have a broken nail, they're really grown out. I'm going to go with a tropical Hawaii vibe since I'm actually leaving for Hawaii in two weeks, which is crazy, crazy to me. I'm so incredibly excited. My best friend and I were just talking about what we're going to pack, that's how excited we are. So I want to do some type of tropical nail, so we'll see what I end up with, but I have like a leopard or a zebra print yellow and pink. I'm picking up a coffee though before we go to the appointment. That little bit of afternoon pick me up and then I want to have a protein shake when I get home. Thank you for choosing Dr. Summer's protein today. I have a pickup order for Jen Clayton. Yeah, I'll pull right up to the window. Thank you. 
Okay, we've secured our coffee. Or I did a medium iced Americano with sugar-free toasted hazelnut, one pump of regular pumpkin swirl, and some cream with an extra shot of espresso. So this is just an iced Americano, lots of caffeine. This is my new favorite thing ever. I love the sugar-free toasted almond syrup, and the pumpkin swirl is just this perfect pumpkin sweetness. So good. I always get two creams instead of three because otherwise it's too creamy for me. And that extra shot of espresso, absolutely delicious. One hour later. Nails are done. We did a cute little like sunset with a palm tree. Now quickly I have to go to the post office. I've got to mail the giveaway for my challenge on my Facebook group and mail my bills because it's almost the first of the month. I'm pretty hungry. I am just about done with my coffee and I'm gonna go home and we're gonna make a protein shake. So I'm home, I'm starving, I'm going to make a protein shake. So I'm using eight ounces of the Fairlife low fat, fat free milk. I'm going to measure eight ounces on my food scale. Then I've been loving my Ascent protein powder. I shared this with you guys in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. This is the lemon sorbet. It is such a great protein powder. 25 grams of protein, really, really clean ingredients. The lemon is amazing. It is probably one of the best protein powders I've ever had. And I like to blend it up with some frozen fruit. It gives me just a crisp summer vibe. So I'm adding one scoop of my Ascent protein. I will link this down below for you. I just buy it off of Amazon. And then today I'm using my red, white, and blue blend from Costco. I really like this with this lemon protein powder or just in protein shakes in general. It's strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. And it is one cup for 80 calories. I don't usually do a cup, more like a half of a cup, which is 70 grams. So I'm going to set my food scale to grams and then I'll weigh out 70 of frozen fruits. And there we go. So we're gonna blend it up. So yummy, nice and thick. And then I'm actually going to have this little package of edamame. This is high protein snack in sriracha. These are so good. 117 calories and 11 grams of protein in this little pack. So that way I have a protein shake and a crunchy snack. So good. The lemon in that protein powder is really, really delicious. They have a ton of different flavors. I'm actually going to go order a whole bunch. I'm almost out of a couple other proteins. And I just like how clean the ingredients are. It sits really well in my stomach. No weird aftertaste or weird sweeteners. And this is going to be a super, super high protein filling snack. For dinner tonight, we are having beef and broccoli. This recipe says it's crazy good, beef and broccoli, so we'll be the judge of that. But let me show you what's in dinner. We're going to need brown sugar substitute. I am using Lakanto Golden. This is my favorite sugar substitute. You guys know I love Lakanto. I'll link them down below with 15% off. You'll need some beef broth. We are going to have rice with ours. I'm going to make some jasmine rice in my little dash rice cooker. I've shared that a few times on my channel, so I'll show you guys that as well. Some minced garlic, soy sauce, lots and lots of broccoli, steak of your choice. I am actually using a really lean cut of pork loin strip steak. These are from ButcherBox, grass-fed, grass-finished meat. We love ButcherBox. We actually buy all of our red meat from them, so I'll link ButcherBox as well for you guys with free meat, free burger, free bacon. They have so many great specials going on right now, and then you'll need some cornstarch. So this is my handy-dandy rice maker. This thing, complete game changer. So I have one cup of my jasmine rice, and then I'm actually going to use beef broth. I'm going to do two cups of beef broth. And then literally you pop your lid on it. You have a warm function and a cook function. So we're just gonna slide it down to cook. And within 15, 20 minutes, you have perfectly cooked rice. I'm also going to cut my steak into strips. So I'm going to spray my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. My sliced up steak, I'm gonna add that to my skillet. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch on top of my beef. And then mix that up. You want the beef to get coated in the cornstarch and we're going to allow it to start to brown. And with that cornstarch, it's going to add a nice coating to our beef. Once your steak is cooked to your liking, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a bowl and set it aside. 
to pan, we're adding three cups of broccoli. We're going to add in some minced garlic and about a half of a cup of beef broth. We're going to allow this to simmer for about 10 minutes or so or until our broccoli is nice and tender. While our broccoli is cooking, we're going to make up the sauce. We wanna have this ready to go for when the broccoli is steamed. So I have half of a cup of soy sauce, one quarter of a cup of Lakanto Golden, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Go ahead and give that a stir. That's going to be our yummy sauce. Set that aside along with your steak until the broccoli is done. Our broccoli is steamed, so I'm going to add back in the steak. I'm going to let these two simmer together for just a couple of minutes before we add in our sauce. And now I'm adding in the sauce. Allow it to simmer for another five minutes until it is thickened. All right, the beef and broccoli is done. This smells and looks delicious and then my rice is just about done within a minute or so and then I'll go ahead and plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points calories and macros all right dinner is ready this looks absolutely delicious so I have three quarters of a cup of cooked rice I did just add beef broth so that adds no additional points and then I have one sixth of the beef and broccoli the recipe makes six servings I'll put points calories macros here on the screen for you I topped it with a little bit of sesame seeds this is such a great dinner protein veggie and healthy carbs it's time for dessert my favorite time of the day and I'm having two not one but two of my Tate's pumpkin spice cookies I've been loving these 10 out of 10 recommend. I actually hauled these in my grocery haul on Saturday. Here's what they look like. They're 70 calories a piece, which is not bad. Normally I have one, but tonight I'm having two. It was a hard workout day for me. I'm a little low on my carbs today, so I'm going to have two of these cookies. If you can find these, I highly recommend. They're so pumpkin-y, they're crispy. They are absolutely incredible. That's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. We tried out lots of new things. As always, everything I shared with you today will be linked down in the description box. Under, I get this question a lot. If you click the little down arrow under the video, it actually opens up the description box and that's where you'll find everything I talked about today, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join that group. Follow me on Instagram. That way you can keep up with me when I'm not posting videos. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. I would absolutely love, love, love to have you, have you here. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing, amazing week, and I will see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye, friends!